welcome to the video. I'm back in action. All the medical stuff's out of the way. I've had a month to recover and I'm up and about again. I'm only home for uh, the weekend, but I thought I'd come and have a fish. But, like usual, I've forgotten something. I've forgotten bait. So I'm using chicken. <laughs> Ah oh, well, it's going to be a lovely morning down here anyway. Like I predicted yesterday, it seems the side current is gone. Because it was blowing westerly from that direction yesterday. Now it's coming from the east. So it's kind of neutralised that side current for now anyway. So I don't think I'll need too big a sinker, so that should do it. I've got a double dropper, but I'm using a surf popper today. Because um, I don't have the right bait, I'm just using chicken. I've got a circle hook down here, and uh, I'll use a surf popper for the first. I don't think I've used one before. I've had them for a while. But um, anyway, let's get a bait out there. Well, let's get some chicken out there. Oh, there's Pete Maneva. this chicken I poured in I emptied a tin of tuna so I poured it poured in the the tuna juices so it's going to be fishy chicken it's uh it's not breast it's thigh fillet so it's nice and fatty there we go we'll see how that goes Re-spooled the uh, Quantum with some mono. I got sick of the braid, so I got some 25 pound mono on there. I was getting tangles after tangles on the, with the braid. Yeah, the tide is coming up. We've got a bit over an hour for high tide. Much happening with that chicken. Toss the lure for a bit on it. small baits out there take the lure off here I got this little whiting rig in my in my bag I drop a sinker on that and put a couple of small bits of chicken out all right we'll fling this one out over to the right here
I won't cast it out far, just in the sort of gutter just down here. Yeah, just in there. Okay, it's nearly high tide, so I'll freshen up both baits. Why have we got weight on this one? Oh, oh, we've got a fish on. What happened there? I didn't even feel a bite. I was just gonna check the bait. Oh, I'm feeling a gummy. Oh, oh, I think he's just dropped it. He's just dropped it. What the hell happened there? Oh, mate. How does he drop a bloody circle hook? That's annoying. That's really annoying. Oh, so I tell you what, I didn't even know anything was messing with it. I literally, I was just going to bring it in. Which kind of makes me think it might be the popper. As soon as I sort of moved it, something grabbed it. I don't know. Warming up in the sun now. for this session. Well, I don't know what that was, but whatever it was, it had size. It was definitely heavy. Possibly gummy or some kind of ray or I'll never know. But anyway, that's enough for this session guys. I'll see you a bit later on. This is the following morning. I wasn't doing any good with that chicken. Not much you can do with when you don't have bait. I was devastated to lose that fish on that popper. That was a cheap popper that I picked up at some stall at a Sunday market. It's only a dollar or something. Oh mate, you pay for it, don't you, when you buy cheap stuff. That was a big fish. Totally destroyed that popper. Anyway, I'm gonna come and have a bit of a cast. It's a really calm morning. I've got a good feeling about this lure. Actually, I bought a few lures with me, so I'm going to do a bit of casting this morning. Hopefully, I can salvage this video yet and catch a fish. <laughs> wow, look how calm that is. Anyway, I'm going to toss a lure around here for a while. I've got the assist hooks on the top of this one, jig style. And the treble on the back, there's more hooks on there than you can poke a stick at. So if something grabs it, I've got him. Leave the bag there. Got my cup of tea ready to go. We've got good sunlight, so the lure's going to flash nicely.
try a smaller one. I'll put the little stinger out there, I think. I hate it when there's no sign of birds at all. Can't see one. That usually means something. Like no fish. Actually, it's calm enough to use a soft plastic. Yeah, I might drop a plastic down there. This big mullet looking thing. I drag him along the bottom. Yeah, I'll let him sink down to the bottom. Just a couple of bounces. Uh, just a couple more on the big fella, I reckon. The odds weren't really in my favour, not having bait and all. Chicken just didn't do the job. And uh, well, with the lures, it's either happening or it's not. And this weekend, it's not. So uh, anyway, just as well, I've still got some uh, gummy in the freezer. So I'll do a bit of a fry up, have some flake for dinner. Always good to have a backup in the freezer. <laughs> doesn't always go to plan down here I'll see you back up there guys Well, I guess the lesson here is don't forget your bait. <laughs> wow, how's that popper? Damn, if that was a better quality one, that was a pretty good fish. It was heavy, it was strong, it was peel and line. That's the way it goes. Um, anyway, I've got some flake here, so I still get to eat fish. I didn't catch a fish, but that's the way it goes sometimes on this beach. Uh, just a quick fry up here of some flake. Oh, you just know it's going to be good. Bit of mayo. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, hot. Mmm, mmm, that's really good. Quick bit of rice. That's good too. Well, I had a great weekend down there. Friday's report, fish on Saturday, and uh, this morning as well. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky to land a fish. Had a good run though. Uh, Peter, my neighbour, they got onto some uh, dogfish, I think he said. He sent me a photo. I'll put, a, I'll put it up and uh, give you a look. Looked like kind of similar to a gummy shark, but only with teeth. And uh, apparently they're pretty good eating, so uh, good on them. They got two of those. So uh, anyway, better luck for me next time. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <music>